What's going on, guys? We are back. Well, I'm back. The, the two puppets aren't back, but I, I'm here. I'm back. I know it's been a while since we've uploaded. We've All three of us have had some busy summers, and unfortunately, we just had to take a leave of absence, but the Bengals are starting to play football again, so that means it's time to start uploading again to this channel, so let's just get right to it. The main story here is AJ Green's injury. Um, unfortunately, he sprained his ankle during the first training camp practice, and actually this morning, he had minor surgery on that ankle, which will take him out of commission for at least the start of the regular season. I know there were some people that were holding out hope that he would play week one, but it's the Bengals and an injury, and whenever that's the case, it's usually just for the worst and not for the best. So AJ Green's out for probably around two months. So what does that mean for the offense? What does that mean for the wide receivers? Well, for the training camp practice I saw yesterday, you had Josh Malone and Cody Core taking those starting reps on the outside with Tyler Boyd on the inside. Obviously, Josh John Ross is still sidelined with a hamstring injury, so he's going through rehab. So both those guys are getting those chances with the starting team. The only interesting development there is that they're taking Tyler Boyd off the field when they go into two wide receiver sets, so they're leaving Core and Malone on the field, keeping Boyd in the slot. I just think that's interesting. They're just reserving him for, their, for when A.J. Green comes back. That's obviously where he belongs. But that's about it with the receivers. You have Auden Tate and Stanley Morgan behind them in the second team with Alex Erickson in the slot. So that's just how the depth chart at, at that position is looking right now. Looking at the tight end position, uh, CJ Uzoma, I think you, you can be you can basically pencil him down as a starter. But they're still rotating Tyler Eifert in there for starting reps with the ones. I just think it's interesting how they're kind of rotating both those guys and obviously limiting Eifert snaps because they obviously don't want to overwork him and potentially get him injured again. On the offensive line, the only rotating going on there is at the left guard spot. It's going to be a competition between John Jerry and Christian Westerman, and that competition is nowhere near over. But, you know, unfortunately, a lot of people didn't want Jerry to have a real say in this competition, but he is the veteran of, of that group, and he's by far the most experienced guy on the offensive line. So obviously he's going to get a chance when he was brought in by Jim Turner. But it's going to be interesting to see, you know, who comes away with the most uh, first team reps there. Turning to the defense now, not much to say really. Nothing, nothing really has changed. Just with the linebackers, you have Nick Vigil, Preston Brown as your first team nickel linebackers, and then you have Jordan Evans and Jermaine Pratt as your second team nickel linebackers. Uh, Jordan Evans is the third linebacker when they go in base. Pratt is not uh, starting there, but I think it's just because they're letting Pratt call plays for the second team, so they're just keeping him with that unit. But Evans is going to get the first chance with the first team linebackers, essentially replacing Vontaze Burfik when they go into three linebackers. Uh, other injury news. John Ross has been rehabbing that hamstring. He's apparently day-to-day, what it really means. He's probably out for a month. But also Darko Zanard and Rodney Anderson, the rookie running back who was drafted in the sixth round, they are also starting rehab along with Ross on that other rehab field. So we should be expecting them to come back relatively soon. But again, injuries probably worse than we think. So that's about it for now. There's only been three training camp practices. They haven't had any in pads. That should start tomorrow. And I will be down there to cover tomorrow for all of you guys. So stick around.